guys so today thank you guys for hitting 520 subscribers so guys as promised here's Grover's OS so guys first thing I want you to do is wipe everything except internal storage and then we're going to actually install tree UI 0.9.5 and we're actually only going to take the boot image from this but for this you have to flash it so guys flash this um, tree um, OS whatever 0.9.5 guys it's necessary to do this and guys you might notice the tutorial is a bit longer this time because this is completely new different steps because installing covert coronavirus um, GSI is a bit difficult because it's not really compatible with the A7 2018 and so thanks to my friends and my fans they helped me um, help helped us essentially um, boot the Corvus, um GSI on the A7 2018 Again, guys, if you're excited for the video, guys, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, guys. More GSI content is coming. So, you yeah, guys, just install the tree OS 0.9.5. Again, we're only going to take the boot image. So, guys, as we're waiting for this to install, I just want to talk about, guys, this week I'm uploading every single day. It's going to be a mix of GSI videos, some gaming, gaming um, games, like how to get them for free. And also uh, many other things, guys. Um, as you guys can know, Twerp Black Project, Black Theme Project is out. So, guys, I'm going to release a tutorial for that. If you guys are excited for the tutorial, hit the like button and let me down know in the comments down below. And, guys, um, I'm thinking about putting some more gaming videos out there. If you guys are excited for that, please let me down in the comments below. Guys, I'm trying to release the GSIs. I have a very exciting GSI coming up. It's based on the Android 12. It's not Android 12 GSI, actually, but... It's a theme based on Android 12, and people are saying it's the future of GSI. So if you guys are excited for that video, make sure to smash that like button. And it's going to be released this following week, guys. Guys, it's going to be an upload mania. So guys, just to push my subscribers and my views a little bit. So make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button and like button. So yeah, guys, so after it's installed, um, you would have to go back. And then this time we're going to back up. So go to the top screen and click backup. So after you click, just uncheck everything. Just make sure you check the boot. And then you would select storage. And make sure it's on internal storage. I didn't do it in this part because I knew it's on internal storage. But when you're doing it, make sure you click select storage and click internal storage. Or mostly, it's automatically selected on storage, but this is very important. Now, guys, we're going to wipe again. But this, guys, be very careful this time. Do not wipe internal storage because obviously if you wipe the internal storage, the backup we just did won't be there anymore. And this entire thing will not work. The guys, the backup is very necessary. Yeah, so the backup is very necessary. So guys, after you've done the backup, go flash our vendor. So in this case, our vendor is going to be Project UI 2.0. That's what I'm flashing right now, guys. So make sure you flash it. So as you can see, we are flashing tree UI 0.95, but that is not our vendor. Unfortunately, tree UI um, 0.9.5 does not support um, to be as a vendor. But guys, exciting news, the developer did release one UI 3.1 based on the S20. And guys, this one does support GSI. So guys, I'll be doing some experimental features with this. And I'll let you guys know how it's going. And also guys, um, um, what is that called? Um, Samsung DeX. The one that you can plug your phone and your fo computer will turn into a PC. It's available now for the A7 2018. I'm going to make a video for that and show you guys. So guys, after you have done that, install the Project UI um, ROM. We're going to flash the COVID GSI finally. This is an AB Lite version, guys. Make sure you do download the AB Lite version. It obviously is going to be linked in the description below. Because if you don't download the AB A slash B Lite version, your camera won't work and if you don't install the AB version your phone just won't boot so yeah guys now we're just gonna flash this and just wait so yeah guys as we're waiting guys what new content you want to see on the channel I really want to release new content for you guys but I really not sure what you guys would like to see in the new channel new content I mean not new channel we're staying with Bakshi plays um, but what content you guys want to see like I'm open to making new content for you guys but I'm really not sure on what content you guys want to see that's why I've been asking in every video on what content you guys want to see so guys just if you guys can help me out there just comment down below on what content you want to see next on the channel so yeah guys 
after the GSI is installed, we're going to do the standard thing. This time we're going to install the kernel. And right after the kernel, we're going to flash Majestic. We do going to flash a uh, higher Majestic this time. We're going to flash Majestic 21.4, standard in all Android 11 GSIs. So we're just going to go back. So yeah, guys, we're going to go back now, finally. And then we're going to flash Majestic, as I said. We just flash it. I have no idea why it took so long, guys. I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, I can't wait to install the pitch black recovery process on the A7 2018 so I can get rid of this boring blue theme. And guys, with the Twerp custom project, you can change the color. There's so many options. Guys, right after this has done installing um, the Majestic, do not reboot. I repeat, don't reboot. And now we're gonna re click on restore and restore the boot image that we backed up previously from tree 0.9.5. 0 .0 then you can reboot the phone. And that's it, guys. Your phone has successfully installed Corvus GSI on your A7 13, the best GSI out there. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, this wrong GSI is one of the smoothest, fastest, and best for gaming out there for the A7 2018. After I used it, I still use it on my A7 2018 still now because it's the fastest and it's the most smoothest. As you can see, the, even the boot logo is very cool, guys. Very nice. Guys, just a warning, you, your phone might reboot two times because when I remember the first time when I tried this method when I was just testing without the cameras on, um, it didn't boot, so I, it was booting twice and then it booted up. But in this case, I'm filming it and I did all the process and look, it booted and it booted on the first time. Because sometimes happens. So that's it for the guys for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Goodbye.